welcome to the first um, episode of Forge Editing. So, um, this is going to be a, a improv on the spot video because I am recording live so I can uh, teach you guys better how to uh, forge and um, yeah I guess we should start off. Okay, so this, this uh, first episode is going to basically, I'm going to um, think to myself that you guys have no knowledge of Forge whatsoever. So, I'm sorry if you do. You can wait till the next episode or just watch this for fun in case there's anything you don't know. But first of all, we are going to start off um, by giving some basic controls. Okay, so Forge, the main thing in Forge that you can do here is if you press up on your D-pad, you go into a forge form, which you are now a floating orb, or a floating eye, in um, in the game now. And you can fly. Okay, so the controls are: you push forward to move forward, backwards to move backward. It's all the same, except now your A doesn't do anything, and those buttons do different things. So your left bumper makes you go down, and your right bumper makes you go up so you can sort of levitate up and down okay that's pretty basic okay so first of all we're gonna start you off with uh, telling you the main thing about forge you can now create items so if you take a look at the bottom right hand of your screen you'll see some commands and a budget a budget is how many items you can place on the forge map they each cost dollars and there's a limit to them that is uh, what that a thousand dollars is. If you press the X button, uh, a little uh, tray will come up, and you can pick up, you can pick from a variety of things. We're gonna start off with we'll go into structure, uh, building block, and a simple block. So you see this block? Okay. Now the new controls for this. Um, your right thumbstick allows you to move around the block without moving the block itself. Your left thumbstick moves it back and forward and side to side and your right bumper and your left bumper move it up and down along with you. Um, if you hold your right trigger and move your thumbstick it twists the block either way. If you hold your right trigger and use your left, left thumbstick it moves you in and out closer to the block without moving the block itself. So here's what we're going to do first. I'm going to show you the different types. When you're holding the block, the different types of uh, physics that come with uh, these blocks. When you're holding a block, you uh, you can uh, first of all you can press the A button to drop your block, and now it's there in the world. It's a real. It's not going to go away this block because it's a piece of scenery. Okay. The Y button deletes your block. We'll bring it back though. Okay, so the X button gives you a bunch of different options. Okay, what we're going to do here. Okay, we are going to first look at this. Up the top thing says team. It will um, color your block. If you see up here, it's blue now. It can switch to different teams and stuff if you'd like. Okay. So physics, there's three different types of physics, normal, fixed, and phased. We're starting out with normal. Normal, when I pick up the block and let go, it falls, there's gravity, and it lands. It can sort of roll and teeter and totter like that before, but when it lands in its place, it stays there. Our next item, we will, uh, not our next item, our next physics is fixed. Fixed is a lot like um, normal, as you can run into um, different objects with it, and it won't go through. But uh, now, when I drop it, it stays in place. So you see it up there, it's not moving. You can go and stand on it if you'd like, and even though that was a failure, but that's okay. Okay, let's bring this object down here. Let's go to our third, and... This one's a little more advanced, not too advanced, but uh, what it is, is phased. So now the object can go through things. 
and I can stop it halfway through something to uh, make it go into the scenery. You see that it's now in there. It's a part of the game. Okay, so now that we've got all that done, okay, let's go back here. Spawn time. You can set the spawn time. I'll set it to 10 seconds, and that will spawn in 10 seconds if something happened to it. Right now, nothing's going to happen to it. In advanced, you can uh, pull. This is all uh, stuff you don't really need to know about yet. They'll be in one of the later. But place at start. If I put that not place at the start, that means that this would spawn 10 seconds after the game has started. But we'll get into this later. We'll take the spawn time off for now. The object color. You can change the object's color. Some objects will not change color, though. Like this block. Or it may. No, it doesn't change color. Sorry to disappoint. Okay, we'll go through the different types of objects now. Okay. So, we have our weapons. And they're now in Halo Reach. They're separated into two categories. The human weapons and the covenant weapons. Weapons are uh, a bit different now um okay i thought they were gonna i thought something else sorry but uh basically a weapon works in this way okay you place the weapon on the ground and now it can be picked up i just picked it up for ammo it'll spawn again in um i think the default is 30 seconds um when it respawns um, you can pick it up again. However, if someone is holding the weapon, it will not respawn until that weapon is uh, dropped or destroyed. Um, you can uh, get by this by, uh, say, going into advanced and say that there always will be weapons on the map. So now I did that and it should spawn. But anyways, that is for a more advanced. Okay, next, armor abilities. This is new to Halo Reach. Armor abilities, you place them on the ground. You can go up, pick them up, and now I can roll. <laughs> so if you've played Halo Reach at all, you know about armor abilities. Vehicles. There's a ton of different vehicles, and they can be placed all across the map. Now, vehicles, sadly... You cannot use phased on a vehicle or anything like that, as then you could get in the vehicle and you could probably go through the world. So they decided not to give it to you. So vehicles are just on normal physics, not on anything else. Okay, next we have gadgets. These are just uh, uh, different things like... You have in here explosives, which are like landmines and things, sort of for different games. Health packs. We have power-ups, which are the old power-ups from Halo 3, which are invis, overshield, and custom power-up. And, uh, one more. Okay. So I'll go back into there. So we were in gadgets, and, uh, I believe we were just going over special effects, different looks you can add to your game okay i gotta go, go a little faster because we're running out of time spawning that'll be the next spawning is complicated it's uh where your player will spawn in the game objectives that's later on we'll deal with that and scenery structures those are just uh different objects you can place around so this was the first episode just showing you everything and next time we'll go through some more not so uh basic terms